Hey, and welcome back. And today is day 23 of the 31 day challenge. And two days ago, we talked about nested chats. Well, today I'm going to go into a more in-depth example using sequential nested chats. Two days ago, we had an example of a nested chat where we had three agents and then the user proxy would initiate a chat with the writer. Then once the user started talking to the writer, because of the trigger up here, which was the writer, we then would initiate the nested chat where the user would talk to the critic. And down at the bottom here was the flow. Well, today we're going to be using sequential nested chats, and it's going to look like this. As you can see, this is going to be a more in-depth example, but let's just go over this and what's going on. Okay, we're going to have five total agents, and then we're going to have a separate group chat with two agents. And let's go over the code example really quick. We again have the user proxy initiate chats, but it's going to initiate chats with two different assistants. We're going to have initiate the chat with the first one, and then after that one's over, it's then going to initiate a chat with the second assistant. But above here, we have assistant one dot registered nested chats. It's going to talk to the nested chat queue. The nested chat queue is just an array of chats. So how this is basically going to work is we have assistant one dot register nested chats with the trigger being the user. So once the user starts talking to assistant one, then we're going to start with the nested chat queue, basically all these agents. And all these agents are essentially just a sequential chat themselves. So the user, because the user dot initiate chats first talks to assistant one, the user is going to talk to assistant one. Once the assistant one gets back from the LLM call or response, it's going to send it back to the user. And then because assistant one dot register the nested chats, the trigger was the user. We then start with the nested chat queue. Now, the first thing is the manager. Well, the manager is this group chat over here. So we're going to start with the group chat here. The inner assistant and the inner code interpreter will talk with whatever they got from the user. And then once they're done, they'll talk to the writer, then they'll talk to the reviewer, and then finally they'll talk back to the writer. And the reason is because that's the order in the nested chat queue, which is the, basically the sequential order. Once that is done, right? So once this nested chat queue is done, we send all that back to the user. And now we are done with this right here where the recipient was assistant one. So all that happened because we initiated a chat with assistant one. Now that's over with. And now we're going to talk with the next chat, which is with assistant two. So the user talks to assistant two. The assistant two is going to get something back from the LLM, send that over to the user, and then we're done. Okay, now for the code. So we grab the config list from the JSON file. Then we create the LLM config, and I have two tasks. The first one is to get the latest news on AI, and then the second task is just to make a joke about it. So we have the inner assistant and the inner code interpreter. One is the assistant agent, and another is a user proxy agent in case it has to execute any code. And then I make a group chat out of them, and then a group chat manager. So now we have the group chat that we talked about. Now we're going to create the rest of the agents. So we have four assistant agents to make. We have assistant one. Assistant two, which are just standard. And then we have a writer and a reviewer. And these have uh, system messages to kind of give better prompts so that we get better responses back from the LLMs. And then we have a user proxy agent. Okay, now for the rest of the code where the actual sequential nested chatting happens. We have seen some of this code from the drawing, but we're going to go over it one more time. We have a nested chat queue, which is a sequential order of chatting with different agents. So we have the group chat, which is the manager, the writer, then the reviewer, and then the writer again. Now we have this function that we call writing message which basically takes the previous uh, chat and adds it as context to the writer both of these times. And then we say assistant one dot register those nested chats. So we take that nested queue, register it to assistant one, and the trigger is the user. Okay, so now finally we have the user dot initiate chats. We have two separate chats here. The first one is with the assistant one, and the second one is with assistant two. The first one takes the first task, which is actually writing about AI news. And then the second task is about making a joke. Now let's look how this ran and see what happens. Okay, so I ran this and then let's see how it works. So we started a new chat was the latest news on AI. So the user talks to assistant one, which is normal. And then assistant one is going to start talking with the chat manager. Okay, because the manager was that group chat of the inner assistant and inner code interpreter. So because we had the trigger for assistant one, Based when it talked onto the user, we now start talking to the nested group chat. So the first one is the manager. So we have the inner assistant uh, trying to make code. It looks like there were some errors when it tried when the inner code interpreter tried to execute it. So it's trying to fix it. We go back to inner assistant here. It looks like it fixes the code. Then the inner code interpreter tries to run it again, and we actually get some output this time. So it fixed the code. So now after this output from the code interpreter, it goes back to the inner assistant inner assistant. Now we're starting a new chat. Now if I bring this down a little bit here, and this might be hard to see, but I have this at the right at the top here. So we just finished with the manager. Now we're going to talk with the writer with that function that talks about polish the content to make an engaging and nicely formatted blog post. And so now assistant one is talking to the writer, which is the next in line. We have the context here. And now the writer takes that information and makes a better blog post about it. So it comes in here and makes the blog post. And now they're done. We're starting a new chat. 
and the message is to review the content provided. Now this is the reviewer. So now we moved on to the reviewer. So assistant one is going to talk to the reviewer with the context from the previous message. So then the reviewer reviews all this and then sends it back to assistant one. So now we're going to start a new chat, which is again, the writer. So again, we have the polish, the content to make an engaging, nicely formatted blog post. So we have the context from previously. So here's the context, and then it's going to rewrite that message. So now the writer is going back to assistant one. We are done with this nested chat queue. It's going to go back to assistant one. Now the assistant one is going to send this back to the user. And now the user is going to start a new chat because we are done with the assistant one chat. Now we're going to move on to assistant two. So the user to assistant two is now going to take, now going to make a pleasant joke about it with the context. And assistant two says, why don't we make a lighthearted AI theme joke? Why was the computer cold at the office? Because it left its windows open. Wow. And that's it. And I hope this gave you more ideas on how to create sequential chats, right? You don't necessarily just have to put everybody in a group chat and then hope that they're kind of um, talking the in the order that you want them to. Now, prompting helps with that, but if you don't have the right prompts, then it could be hard. It might not uh, work the way you intended. This offers another way to orchestrate all of your agents talking to each other. Okay, this was a more in-depth and a little bit more advanced a uh, version of the nested chat with a sequential nested chat and a lot more agents. We are headed into the fourth quarter, which is like the last seven days of this whole March 31 day challenge. And I only came up with this idea because there was another uh, channel that made a post called Channel Makers, because I was kind of figure out like um, how to uh, make my channel better, not just the content, but like other things just surrounding the channel. And they made a blog post with all of their followers. They are doing a 31 day challenge for the month of March. So it means every day they are being challenged to make a video. And that's kind of, I was like, okay, let me just see if I can do this. Now it was four days. So I was like February 24th or 25th. I saw that. And I just kind of thought, let me do that. So thank you for sticking around and watching it thus far with me. Here's some more Autogen videos. Please like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.